guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. Today we're filming from Changsha. I'm here for a tourism event and I just had a few minutes on my own so I thought why not make a video for you guys. Yes, I'm sitting on a balcony of my hotel room at Intercontinental Hotel which is a really, really awesome place. Today's video is going to be about all those things the Chinese guys just say that's not so cool on the first date with Western girls. Wow, that was a very long title. Anyways, I have collected me and my foreign friends who date Chinese guys' experience and put together a list of 10 things that they just always say and it's like, ah, don't do that. <laughs> Obviously, it's not all of them. Remember guys, I'm not saying every single Chinese person says this, but I'm just saying that this is what me and my friends have experienced over and over again. I thought I wanted to share it with you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. Number one on this list this is that the Chinese guys they have a tendency to compare me to foreign girls They'd be like oh my god you're so much bigger than the Chinese girls oh my god your girls are so much bigger than Chinese girls as girls <laughs> <laughs> or they'd be like, you're so much taller. Oh, or like one guy, he said, oh, I remember when I kissed the Chinese girl, I could just like carry her in my arms. I can't do that with you. And I was just like, <laughs> do not ever say that to me again, please, or else I'm going to kill you. <laughs> yeah, that's number one. Number two, many Chinese guys or just people, Chinese people in general, they really like to talk about money. They're very curious to how much you're earning, how much you're going to earn later. Do you have money in the bank? Do you not have money in the bank? Does your family members have money in the bank? Oh, sometimes I'm just like, guys, it's just not that important. I feel like if I like you, that's that's very important. My one guy I saw he was like I don't have a job right now and if I don't get a job afterwards uh, I don't think you want to be with me and I was just like dude if I have feelings for you it doesn't really matter if you're in between jobs or not because I have a job and I don't need your money I need your company. <laughs> Number three marriage and future plans. How long are you going to stay in China? That's an obvious question because I di also didn't want to invest in somebody who would be leaving in a month. I get that. But then they would move on to be like, are you interested in marrying a Chinese guy? Where do you see yourself in five years? Do you think we could get married? I want to get married in two years. Or like my parents told me I should get married soon. And I'm just like, ooh, I just met you. <laughs> One guy, I actually told him that I was interested in dating him. But if he would propose in two months, I was like, no. And he was like, no, I promise I won't, <laughs> I won't propose in two months because I don't have a job. <laughs> and I was like, oh, thank God, okay. <laughs> so these things are really stressing me out. And I'm sorry, but honestly speaking, it's killing the vibe and the romance for sure for me. Number four, something else they also like to talk about. Many Chinese guys, they like to ask me, but why Chinese guys? Why Chinese guys? When you can get a handsome white foreigner? And I'm like, yeah. If I was really interested in a handsome a white foreigner, I would probably go and find one. But because I agreed to meet you, who's Chinese, is probably because I have an interest in Chinese guys. Ah, I don't know. I just really hate that question. It's like, are you looking down on me? Are you looking down on yourself? This is not really sexy. Please stop it. <laughs> yeah, so don't go there. Number five. I don't know, but these days I have realized that every time I give a Chinese person a handshake, they just like their hand is hanging like this. And it, it's actually both girls and boys, but especially on dates. It's like if you're meeting someone for the first time, I want a, you know, a good handshake. I don't know that word. A, a um, confident handshake you know like hi my name is N -n 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 -n. nice to meet you I know that's what I want so that's another thing if you're going to meet someone and you're not gonna give her a hug then give her a steady strong confident handshake not this number six in China it's very important to spend a lot of money and show off actually number six and number seven they're kind of together because number six is like big expensive fancy dinner like I've had Chinese guys who would be like oh but I can't afford you to I can't afford to take you to this really expensive restaurant and I'm like it doesn't matter we can just go for a walk in the park like I just want to get to know you to be honest <laughs> I don't need more than that whereas I know that in China most Chinese girls they expect these really fancy dinners 
I saw this really awkward date. Me and my friend went to a cool restaurant, quite expensive, and then this date was happening besides us and they didn't talk to each other and it was really awkward and he had to pay the whole thing and I was just like, oh my god, I feel so bad for this guy. It's a waste of his money and he's not gonna get a girlfriend or a wife out of that. <laughs> So yeah, big expensive dinners, it's just not working with foreign girls. I don't know, uh, maybe maybe if you're a foreign girl you like it, I don't know. But like for me and my foreign friends, we're like, it does not matter where you take me. Take me to the park, it's fine. Also the park is much more relaxed, there is not so much stress and like yali, you know, you don't have to prove anything, you just have to talk to each other. It's quite nice, right? So as I said, number seven is also in this area. Number seven is show off. Just don't do it. <sighs> I talked to one guy from Shanghai and he was like, I have three apartments in Shanghai. And I was like, yeah, and then? <laughs> and then he was like, I also bought myself a Rolex watch. And to be honest, I actually said to him, I think the design is really ugly. He sent me a picture. I know, I'm not nice either, I know, but <clears throat> I just hate show up. I hate it. In Denmark, we don't show off. We have all these like norms and like, you know, secret rules that or people don't tell you, but everyone is doing it. Like you never show off. If you show off anything, you can show off your trip to somewhere you're traveling around or whatever. But when it comes to materialistic goods, uh, just don't do it. Those people, I can't deal with those people. And I think many of my foreign girlfriends, they agree on that one. Number eight, yes. Number eight <laughs> is lack of self-confidence. This is a very common thing here. The Chinese guys, I don't know what it is, but they see foreign guys as superior and they don't understand why we like Asian guys. And they seem to be really confused about it and they just really show this lack of confidence and it's just not sexy. It's like, oh, but I'm not good enough or why are you interested in me or like you're a foreign girl. Why would you even want Asian guys when you can have foreign guys? La, 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 la. It comes back to the question I, I said a little earlier and it's just so not sexy. Like when I actually met a guy, a Chinese guy with confidence, I was just like, oh my God, I want you. Like that's so sexy. He looks Asian and he's confident. It's amazing. Great combination. <laughs> Cause I'm not used to it here. I, I know that it's also because we're foreign, we're different, blah, 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 blah. I try to tell the Chinese guys, don't think so much about it. I'm just a girl. Like a Chinese girl, I'm also just a girl who likes a boy. Simple, easy peasy. Yeah, try to be a little more confident next time. That would just make a huge difference. Oh, number nine is a classic. Ah. <laughs> I have tried this so many times and my girlfriends, they say the same, all of them. <sighs> don't ask about my weight. And also don't ask about my bra size. It's not cool. I went on this date with a guy I was so crazy about. I was like, oh my God, he's so freaking handsome. He totally knows what he's doing. He got his career going. He has uh, money and a cool car, blah, blah, blah. All this show off. He was really a show off, right? I was a little intimidated, but anyways, he said to me, <laughs> or he asked me, <laughs> he asked me, what's your bra size? And I was like, what? Did, what? <laughs> this is the first date. And I was like, how is that important anyways? Come on, dude, really? Yeah, I lost a little bit of respect for him at that moment. I was like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> and I've also had guys asking me, how much do you weigh? Or they'll be like, oh yeah, I'm 80 kilograms. How much do you weigh? And I'm like, yeah, I didn't ask you, you shouldn't ask me either. Don't ask foreign girls about their weight, guys. I know in China it's like all the girls are like, oh, we have to be under 100 jin, which is 50 kilograms. And then <laughs> now I become so confident, I say to people, sorry. <laughs> I'm not under a hundred jin and I haven't been under a hundred jin since I was like, I don't know, 10 maybe. <laughs> and you know what? I don't give a thing about it, okay? So don't ask about my weight because it's not important. If you like this, does it matter? No, it doesn't. So yeah, if you're an Asian guy, you're gonna a Chinese guy, you're gonna see a foreign girlfriend, foreign girl, then don't ask that question. Number 10, number 10, ooh, number 10. <laughs> last, time my, last time I was seeing a guy, we were talking about being pang, which is fat 
or Feng Man, which is curvy. Okay, so he didn't do this on purpose, but he thought that Feng Man translation, Feng Man's translation was chubby. So he said, oh yeah, you, you're chubby, right? And I was like, I kind of liked you, but now I don't. <laughs> I said, no, 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 no. Pung for fat <laughs> and choppy is just for like a little punk, okay? <laughs> I said it's not pretty in any ways unless you're a cute dog or a little baby. And I know in China they have this like they think baby fat is kind of cute on a girl if you have like a round face. Um, and the boy is like, <clears throat> and I'm like, no, choppy is never sexy. And again, this cute and sexy that's that's the difference, you know? They're like, oh, choppy is cute, and I'm like. Yeah, but I'm a girl. I'm a grown-up girl. I want to be sexy, okay? So Feng Man is curvy, which is sexy. So do not ever call me either fat, big, or cur fat, big, or chubby, okay? <laughs> there we go so guys that was all for this video i don't know if it made any sense to you i just wanted to share my experience these things are obviously things that happen in china with mainland chinese guys i'm not saying that abc's american born chinese or singaporean or taiwanese or mainland people who have been abroad for a long time to do this i'm not saying that i'm just saying that this is the mainland chinese experience <laughs> and I have gotten used to a lot of things and I do accept a lot of things <clears throat> when they say these things I'm just like okay it's fine he didn't mean it or he doesn't know that I get offended because I'm a foreign girl and it's different from the Chinese girls they really they always talk about weight and sizes and apparently that's super super important and every time I try to tell my Chinese friends that no matter if you're big or small if you have a great personality it doesn't really matter right you fall in love with people's personality right I of course, it always also has something to do with your looks, but it's just not the most important thing. I'm like, if I'm minus five kilograms or plus five kilograms, are you gonna like me more? Because if that's the fact, then I don't think I want to be with you. Anyway, thanks for watching this little video, guys. Please comment below and let me know what you think or if you have more stories, if you have uh, any comments to this video, uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos from Ling Ling below, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Ling Ling's up. See ya and say Bye bye.